Hey guys, welcome back to Berkenix Garage for a new episode of Project Two Hat. Today, you might have a guess, we are working on the seat. If you don't have a guess, you can probably tell by the title of the video anyway. But the goal is clean up the seat, try to dye them in black with whatever I've got here. I do have some black dye. And then put them back in the car so I can actually drive it again. And as usual, before I get cracking, I will go around the car and show you the little bits and bobs that I have done off camera. And then I'll explain as well the details for the seat and show you the seat in details and all that good stuff. That's the front seat. As you know, I want to put Audi seat in there eventually, but I can't quite yet, so I need to clean those up. I'm already soaking a bit with the trim. I will paint the trim in black, like I have done for the base, it's just a quick coat, doesn't matter. Yeah, and then basically attempt to dye those in black. I'm going to start uh, test the dye on another chair that I've got that I don't use, see what the result is, we can see together. And if it's looking good, we will do those two but basically it's going to be a very easy process we put a dye into a spray bottle we spray the fabric we let it dry and hopefully it will look good all right so last video i ended it without the card removed yet i said i was going to do it and as you can tell they are removed i've cleared up this a bit more as well i have cleaned the inside as you can tell there is more dust but you know, I've already hoovered everything once, uh, washed with like, you know, fabric and stuff like that. So, you know, it's pretty clean compared to what it was. Here I patched up some of the rust. I know it's right, but you know, I don't want hole in the floor either that could uh, jeopardize the stuff. So yeah, and then I painted it black. And then I think what I'm going to do, I don't know, I kind of, you know, all the little, recess here and there I kind of feel like masking that side and then painting that in red but I'm thinking long term the spare wheel over there might actually go on the roof or something well you know one of the things you know you, you, you look at something and you're like ah it might look cool if I did it like that without any purpose or thought, so I'm just going to crack on and do it. <laughs> you know, might end up with a wheel on top and you'll never see it, but who cares. But yeah, no, at least I quite like the gearbox look. I still need to remove that so that we can put some funky stuff going on. Side have been removed as well. And look, I've got the baby there. I'll show you from outside, it looks cooler there. All right, you do have some sun reflection, but can you see him? Hmm? Hmm? All right, still drying. I mean, like I said, it's not perfect because they've been not deeply washed, and this is a driver's seat, so it's quite... Uh, no, it's not. No, it's a driver's seat. Uh, there you are. <laughs> but yeah, it's getting there, but while... Well, um, I mean, I'm still pleased with the result, to be honest, it's still darker. And while that dye, what I've done, here yeah, there was a placement, which means you can attach the line from the door opening, and then you just... So I went and did that around everywhere. And there we go. Yeah, it's actually practical. Those guys been put back on. That guy been zip tied. And here, you know, for me to be able to drive it, ideally, I need a floor at that level. I've got bits of wood, and I've got enough old registration plate to actually lay them one after the other and fill up the gap there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Hi right, guys, <coughs> it's much later. Both seats are back on. Look at that beautiful floor. Look at that. That's a beautiful, beautiful job. Anyway, I'm well pleased with it. 
just need the mirror now and then it's good to drive and look. Eh? Eh? Might as well make the mirror classy too. But anyway, just need to put the mirror in there. Shove it back up there. Oh, remove that, yeah. Uh, that's one of my kids suggested that, but I don't know, kind of want something a bit more, you know, aggressive probably than that. Uh, ah, yeah. Painted that little guy there. Uh, Ooh, that's bite. And yeah, I mean that. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. You know, kind of an episode started with Asoto. I'm just going to tie the seat, put them back on, and then ended up with well doing that, but then doing other bits and bobs as well, which is good. Ooh. <laughs> I'm balancing, so I might fall. Uh, but yeah, now at least I can drive it if I need to, and um, yeah. I'm going to try to pop this week to the workshop. I'm really keen on getting that bonnet sent it down. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you're enjoying the tourette episode, <laughs> uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Plenty more coming. I'm probably enjoying this project at the minute, so there'll be plenty more coming. And yeah, I think I might actually take it to go Japan because I'm not sure the MX-5 will be ready and be our second time at go Japan with a German car, even though we do have Japanese car. <laughs> anyway, guys, see you in the next one. Bye.